Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll uh, write a program to print all the percent numbers till the limit. The, now the limit will be entered by the user. That means we'll take a limit from the user and we'll print all the percent numbers till that limit. Okay, so let's start. I've already opened BlueJ. I'm doing it in BlueJ. You can use any editor for that. And uh, let's start by creating a new class. And uh, let me call the class as Mercen. Okay. This is the name of the class. Right click and open the editor. When you open the editor, you can, we can maximize the screen. And we can delete these multi-line comments. And here also we can delete these because we don't need. And we can delete this constructor also. And now, all we are left with is this method which was uh, created for us by uh, BlueJ. What we can do is, uh, let me change the return type of the method to void. And if you want, you can change the name of the method also. Let's call it cal. And here, uh, in this program, I am going to accept the limit as by passing it as parameter. But if, if you want to use scanner class for that, that is perfectly okay. You can use scanner class also. But just to keep it simple, I am um, accepting the limit from the user. So let's call it the limit, let's suppose, whichever number till we want. Uh, we want the mercen numbers to be print to be printed till that limit okay so let's call that n okay n is the number till which we want all the mercen numbers to be printed we have to uh, remove these two lines from here now uh, let's take a variable here int okay what are let's first understand under, understand what is a mercen number okay so mercen number is of the form 2 raised to the power n minus 1 okay so 2 raised to the power n minus 1 is a mersenne number okay so uh, basically uh, uh, mersenne he was a french mathematician and he discovered these numbers so that's why they are called mersenne numbers so any number which is of the form 2 raised to the power n minus 1 is a mersenne number okay so now let's start um, so we can say 2 uh, for raised to the power i'm using this uh, exponent here 2 raised to the power n minus 1 so any number 2 raised to the power n minus 1 is a mersenne number okay now what we'll do is for that let us uh, take a variable int i is equal to 1 okay and um, i'm using a while loop for this you can use for or do while if you want while i is less than equal to n n is the limit till we, which we want the numbers to be printed okay so while i is less than equal to n okay here um, now we take another variable s okay and we say s is equal to uh, math dot pow two comma i minus one okay and since math dot pow function will return a int uh, will return a double value so we need to use a cast here okay so let's use a cast operator so we'll cast the double value to int and we'll store it in this variable okay so here after this we'll print the number system dot out dot print ln we have to print s okay and here um, after this we'll do i plus plus and we need to make a slight change here uh, it, it is not n times it is still n in its limit for example let's suppose the user enters um, the value of n as 250 so i want all the mersin number till 250 that means i don't want to print any mersin number which is greater which is greater than 250 so in this case uh, i should not write an i here i should write as long as s is less than or equal to n and for that we have to initialize s to be zero now when s is as long as s is less than or equal to n so if you see here let's suppose first s was uh, the first number would be 2 comma i minus 1 that means the value of i is what is the value of i let us do a dry run of this program here only and let us say the value of i is 1 initially so this becomes 2 comma 1 that means 2 raised to the power 1 which is 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 gives us 1 so this statement will print what it will print 1 now the value of i becomes here the value of i becomes 2 okay so the number uh, here we printed s was s this was 1 initially so 1 got printed now i becomes 2 so here it will take 1 is less than equal to n it is so now next time now i is 2 okay so the new value of i is 2 
So what does s become? Two comma two means two raised to the power two minus one, which is four minus one three. So the next number which gets printed is three. Okay. Now i becomes three. Now here this s is three. So three is less than n because let's suppose we want to print it to fifteen. So three is less than n. So now i is three. So here we get three. So this becomes S becomes two comma three. That means two raised to the power three, which is two into two into two. That means eight minus one. So seven should be printed. The value of S is seven. So this way it will continue. Okay. So now let's uh, remove this because this will otherwise give us error. Okay. So let's remove this code from here and remove this from here. Okay. And uh, that's it. I think we are done, and we have to save this, and we need to compile this, and you should get this error uh, message: no syntax errors. Okay. Now uh, let's minimize this and uh, right-click on this and new Mersin. Choose this and okay. It creates an instance called Mersin one. Right-click on this and let's run this method void cal, and here it is asking us the limit. So let us enter 255 for the limit. So if 255 is the limit, okay. So you see, let's maximize this window. It prints all the percent numbers till 255, but it is printing a number which is greater than see, uh, which is greater than 255. That is 511. Let's check this. Let's uh check why it is doing this. So here we have while s is less than equal to s of less than equal to let's say s is less than okay. And uh, let's try this again. Mm, compile. Okay. And now, no syntax errors. Minimize and um, right click. New Mersin. Okay. Right click. Void cal. Let's say again 255 and say okay. So here in the output screen, you see we are getting 255. So 13715. Thirty-one, sixty-three, one twenty-seven, two fifty-five. So now we are getting right output. Okay. So in the previous, uh, when we wrote uh, less than equal to, it was printing till it was printing till five eleven. That was because when we printed two fifty-five here, two fifty-five is uh, equal to. When we wrote equal to, so the condition is true. So again, it prints the next next number. So you should not write equal to if you are using while loop. Okay, so you should write while it is less than because it enters the loop first. Okay, so this is how we can print Mersenne numbers till the limit. Here n is the limit, that means the last number, Mersenne number. So I hope you like the video, and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel eStudy.in. Thanks for watching.